Well, it appears as though the world's largest hedge fund has been watching the Electric Viking YouTube channel and decided that yes, 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 the Viking was right. Neo, well, that CEO is a bit out of control and their refusal to pivot and adapt based on the current crazy circumstances in the bloodbath of an auto market that is China means that um, they decided to dump their stock. Now, of course, I'm sure they don't watch my channel. I'm joking. Welcome, by the way. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. What a crazy couple of days it's been moving to here. I'm still in Thailand, just in a different location. A better location where I don't have to be awake all night with the crazy noise from our last location, which was insane. Fireworks every single night, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning, every single damn night. And then the birds, oh my goodness, the Asian coal birds, they're the loudest birds in the world. You can hear them three kilometers away. I had a beautiful, peaceful sleep last night. It was amazing. The first in a very long time. Speaking of peaceful sleeps, I don't think that Neo would be having particularly peaceful sleeps right now after what's been happening with some of the hedge funds that are dumping their stock. And don't get me wrong, they're not just doing it to Neo. It's happening to other Chinese car companies as well. Xpeng, Li Auto, even BYD. However, Neo is on the hot seat here. Investors are saying, oh, we're fed up with your strategies. We're fed up. Neo stock price was at 54 US dollars less than two years ago. The company is now delivering more cars. However, it isn't delivering many more cars. And those sales figures, well, are looking Pretty average. Now, here's what Neo said, right? They said, for starters, Tesla suck. They've said this numerous times. And Tesla suck. We're not going to do what they do because they suck. And well, they're not good. They're bad. They're very bad. They've said those comments a few times. And Neo's CEO says that not selling many cars is okay. They don't want to reduce their prices because that's bad. Bad for you if car companies reduce their prices. That's their reasoning. Now, investors are saying, yeah, mate, no, it's not. That's nonsense. But the truth is here, Neo has never made a profit in any quarter of their many years of existence. Never. They've gone bankrupt before, by the way. Not many people know that. Neo have, been bank have gone bankrupt before, a few years back. But right now, Neo is facing the Chinese bloodbath. The automotive industry in China is insane. It is like a killing fields like a horror movie seriously it's like a horror movie one electric car manufacturer a pretty big one in china just went bankrupt within the last 48 hours many others are on life support they're bleeding money literally bleeding money we had more than two and a half thousand dealerships go bankrupt within the last 12 months they're just the ones we know about i mean imagine all the ones we don't know about we're seeing evs get discounted by bmw by 50 percent toyota is selling their evs at way below what it costs to make um Car manufacturers in China have just like millions of cars sitting in parking lots because, well, no one wants them. They're old school gasoline powered vehicles. The Nissan Sylphie was the best selling car for a few years in China. It's not anymore. Not even close. <laughs> Volkswagen Group, they were the biggest selling automaker in China. Not anymore. BYD now. So, Neo is facing all of these challenges. And it's struggling to deal with them because of its stubbornness of its CEO. And I would say it's, oh, I don't know, he's incredible hubris of its CEO. He seems incredibly arrogant. But that's my just just my opinion. And it could be a translation thing. I've got to admit, I tried to learn Chinese and I failed miserably at that. So maybe it's a, a little bit of a translation issue. Or maybe not. Seeing as the world's largest hedge fund just dumped their position in NEO. Maybe not. One issue highlighted by NEO's investors is its refusal to engage in price cuts. And this is in contrast to rival EV maker Tesla, which has implemented price reductions to enhance its competitiveness, which is working clearly. Yes, less margins. But if you make less margins and you sell twice as many cars, you still make the same amount of money. See how that works? It actually works really well because then, you know what happens? Twice as many people have your cars. And from what I've seen, people are pretty damn happy with their Tesla cars. In fact, Brand loyalty is higher for Tesla than any other car maker. So you see what happens when you sell more cars? More people tell their friends about you. Yeah, more people refer their friends to you. When your cars are more affordable, more people can buy them. Maybe Neo CEO needs to learn a few lessons about the simple reality of economics here. One issue is that Neo CEO believes that Neo's EVs are far superior to Tesla's in terms of design, technology, and performance. And he does not want to participate in a price war. However, this stance is limiting Nero's ability to cater to value-seeking customers and adapt 
to market conditions. And I mean, I'm not sure pe people really enjoy it when one CEO says someone else's products are garbage. If people just think, oh, why did you need to do that? Did you really need to do that? Or is that coming from a position of your own insecurity? Is this really more about you being concerned that you're getting your ass whipped? I think that's what it's about. But I could be wrong. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Neo's April delivery data was not as strong as expected. While Neo reported a year-over-year -year increase in deliveries, there was a significant slowdown compared to the previous month. This led to a decline once again in Neo's stock price. And it suggests that investors were not impressed with the results and identified concerning trends in the delivery data. For example, Neo's sales were down 34% in April compared to what they were in March of this year. Considering these factors and the fact that the world's largest hedge fund just divested itself of around nearly 50% of its position in NEO. I'd suggest that now isn't the time to buy NEO stock. In fact, it's not the time to buy any stock in any electric car manufacturer in China, in my opinion. There will be a time, but it's not right now. Now, if you're Australian, don't listen to me. Cannot give you any advice or the Australian government will try to find me $400,000 even though I'm hiding away here in Thailand. I'll try anyway. Bridgewater Associates have divested itself of more than 50% of its of its holdings over the past few months. Similarly, the California Public Employees Retirement System, the largest public pension fund in the United States, reduced its investment in NEO during the first quarter by around 15%, but they also reduced their position in the previous quarter as well and the quarter before that. Now, what's your take on all of this? Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.